we're going to start the dress try on for you. Here's the one that I like a lot. Pink. Here's the length with the slit on the side. I'm wearing a slip right now, but I wouldn't probably on the, when I wear it with sandals. It was a 2X and it fits good and I love it. And the fabric is stretchy, no pockets. The sleeves are perfect. It'll be a nice, cool summer dress to wear. All right, wait for the next one. All right, here's the next one I got. And I could either wear the orange necklace or this, the purple one I got. And for the summer, I'm gonna love this dress, except my slip's showing a little. But I think it's very cute and cheery and bright. I would take this one on the cruise because it will fold nice and it will be cool with sandals. I even have orange sandals, I'm quite sure. So, I hate how though the fabric is white inside, but it doesn't matter because I'll keep my arm down. Here's another orange variety. This one's a little shorter, but I like this length. And I know I have some orange uh, sandals, orange necklace, orange sandals, orange dress, orange purse. They would think I work, work for the Sunkissed company. Or you could wear hot pink with it or something if you're bold. But this um, is very comfy and the sleeves are cute. Now this was a 2X. I bought it in pink in a 3X and I'll try it on next and show you the difference one size makes. I still have, I still have the orange necklace on, but one size, this is a three X. And I'll have to alter it. And I'm gonna show how to alter a dress in a minute. But first, this is this one. And I like it, but I think the shoulders See the shoulders, how they come way down here. I'll come closer so you can see. The shoulders, see, it's way big and under arms. I need to take it in under the arms. So I'll give you a lesson right. how to do it. Here it is, altered. I haven't done this side yet. Just I just did it the one side and look. You can see how I have the pins in it, right under this arm. You pin it under the arm, you pin it down the back seam, and it pulls it in. And I have to pin this side, because this side's much better. Okay, I'm gonna take it off, and then I will show you what the pins look like. I haven't sewn it yet. Okay, I'm gonna show you what it looks like. All you do is you take the back the neck right here, and you line the shoulder seams up. This is the front and this is the back. And then you take a seam, this is how much I took it in, the pins right here, and you just pin it and then you're gonna sew it all the way down. Now, if you don't wanna make the skirt go in, you can just sew it and then come out and leave the hips the same and just alter it the way you would want. Pin it and then try it on. All right, now the sleeves. The same thing underneath the sleeves because it's too big under there for me. And so what I did was, just a minute, I gotta find the right place right here. Inside out, here, I don't, this fine, this part's fine. I just want this part where it's under the arm seam right here and I pin it like this, and I will stitch this down and then gradually take it into the side seam. And then that brings it in on both sides. And you can make it, it's, you might have to just baste it in and then try it on, start with a little bit and then, you know, try it on 
pin it, try it on, and th see if you think you have it in the right place. It takes a little bit, because unless you have somebody with you to pin it inside out, but you have to put them inside out. Now this one, I love this one so much, and I'm so sad that it's so big. Same thing with these sleeves. And the length is perfect for a summer dress. And I love this stretchy fabric, and it's not the scarf fabric, but see, it. I don't have that problem. I know some people do. So I'm just gonna take it in, like I showed you, under the arms, the sleeve, it needs to come in. But it's best to try it on inside out and pin it. But the next good, sometimes if you're an expert, you can take the sleeve out and then take the seam up and then when the sleeve is out and then take the sleeve in and then put the sleeve back in up here more and then fade it down. And I might do it on this one because I like this dress a lot and I want it to be perfect. And I don't think I need to take it in the back. This has a back seam in it. And I don't think I need to take the back seam in. I just need these underarms, the sleeve part. So I'll probably take the sleeve out on this dress because I want it to be perfect. And then adjust that size difference. All right, I have a couple more. Now this dress is that scarf fabric, no stretch to it. So if you see a dress and it says no stretch, don't buy it, it's this fabric. And I think it says woven, it's not a knit. Knit would be like t-shirts. Once again, I have this problem under the sleeves and the shoulders. So I should have ordered it a lot smaller size. Do I like the dress? The length is good, but I don't know if I like it enough to spend time fixing it. Would I bought it again? No. So I don't know. And you know, I don't need a dress. If I needed one, I would go to all that work fixing one, but I don't really need it. But there's just no stretch to it. So, you know, it's like you want it to stretch when you move. I do anyway. So, I don't know. I might just donate it. All right. Nightgown or dress? It's supposed to be a dress. But I think it's, I'm just going to leave it like it is and have it be a nightgown. Because... I mean, if it fit right, it would be cute with a denim jacket of any color. And I like the neckline, how it is. But I'd have to take the sleeves in because I hate when you can peek in there. So I sew them up. And the shoulders aren't that big on this one. I'm just disappointed. Or maybe I could cut it off and make a cute shirt. So anyway, it's just... I guess you could wear it for a nightgown and wear it for the dress in the day and then wear it to bed at night and you would never have to change your clothes. Swimsuit cover up, everything. Put a fancy jacket over it, wear it to church. You could just wear it all week. Very versatile, no pockets though. I might order it in a decent size. Anyway, it's still me. If my head was cut off, it's still me. All right. That is just a small sample of how many dresses, I don't remember, of the problems I get when you have a big bust. So you have to order the dresses to fit around your bust line, but then your shoulders are more narrow. So then what do you do? You have to alter your clothes or get ill-fitting clothes to sew tight in the bust that it's embarrassing. I don't know. So anyway, um, it's not that big a problem. Don't worry about me because I have plenty of clothes to wear and I can alter them if I need something. So don't worry about me. I just worry more about you who don't sew. What do you do? Donate all of these things? That would be sad. So the sizes are one thing. You can get the size to fit your hips, your waist, your bust. But if they don't cooperate with the measurements that are made, then you're in trouble. And a lot of us, like swimming suits, I have to order a bigger size here. Then the pants are huge. For, and around the legs, I have gaposis. People could look right in the leg and see. 
So I have to either get the big size and then take in the legs so you can't see, in, you know, gaposis, or get a different smaller bottom and a bigger top. So I know there's other people that have the same problem. Some are flat chested, but they have the bigger hips. So then you have the opposite problems that I do. So if you are a perfect size for whatever you buy, count yourself lucky. All right.